Um, I decided to go ahead and record this before tomorrow. I'll just upload it with um, day five. Um, okay, so yesterday, which would have been day three, I was at home sick with um, I was having really bad stomach pains. I'm not even sure. I don't even really think it was a virus. I think it 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 was something else. Um, it was something. I think it was something that I ate. Just it just didn't agree with my stomach, and it just took my stomach into overdrive. And um, I just wasn't feeling well yesterday. Um, and actually, I have been feeling real strange since Sunday evening. Since Sunday after church. Um, very fatigued and just worn out so um i think yesterday it just kind of caught up with me but yesterday while while i was at home i finally got the chance to see with this ring and it was it came on the weekend after the whitney movie um aired on lifetime and i must say i have to give it a lifetime the movie itself was pretty dope um i loved all of the actors and actresses um they did a great job. I love Regina. Um, I think she's so funny. Every time I see her, the only thing that I can think about is her role in um, Scary Movie. And, you know, when she gets in her, into who she is, <laughs> just overly excited or overly animated, that's, that's what I see and I can't help but to laugh. Um, but there are just a few things that I wanted to talk about concerning the movie. Because I know it's Val Valentine's Day is coming up. Let me see. Got my calendar. <laughs> Actually, Valentine's Day is next weekend. So I know for myself, I am single, and I've been single for 16 months. Exactly 16 months. And you know, this is the longest that I've been single. Period. Okay. Um, there was a moment where I would give myself a three to six month turnaround and then I'm trying to talk to somebody else. And it's just how I rolled back in the day. And, you know, at this moment I'm 27 and I'll be 28 in a couple of days. And, um, you know, I'm trying to make it seem like I'm so old. But in my early 20s, I would say the first, the my early 20s, I spent most of my time focusing on being in a relationship or trying to be booed up with somebody or, you know, because I just thought that's what I was supposed to do. And I spent majority of my time trying to find the one. And, you know, instead of it working out in my favor, I always end up with my heart broken. I mean, you know, I saw a quote somewhere. I don't even know where I saw it at, but it said something along the lines like the heart is made to be broken. It's meant to be broken. I'm thinking to myself, the devil is a lie. No one should have to endure heartbreak repeatedly over and over again. Like something is wrong. <laughs> if you have to endure heartbreak over and over repeatedly again and again and again, like something is not right with that. Um, but as I was watching the movie, I was like, oh my God, this is like the story of my life. And the other thing that I could think was, here we go again, another movie about successful black women who are unable to find that guy. And I know, like, people should be aware of the, um, the lady in her 40s who vowed to herself that if she was not married by 40, that she would marry herself. And, you know, to each his own, I personally would not do that. But she did what she felt was best for her. I'm all for self-love and loving yourself. But to me, to me, that to me, for me, that's just a little too, that's a little extreme. Um, but with this ring, what I liked about the movie was um, there was a moment in the movie where, towards the end, where she said, you know, as a child, I would watch the sun go down every day and you know I realized that I had missed what the other kids enjoyed and that was basically playing in the sun I missed playing in the sun because I 
because really what she said earlier in the movie that, you know, I'm always waiting for this job promotion to make me happy. I'm waiting for this job to make me happy. I'm waiting to meet the one to make me happy. This, that, and the third. I'm always waiting and it's not fair. When is it going to be my turn? You know, I felt that way. I've, I have felt that way on more than one occasion. And, you know, I had to come to the conclusion during my single season, this season of singleness in my life, these single 16 months of my life is that you know I'm gonna do things to make me happy you know I once thought that I was I wasn't gonna be that girl that was going to um go to the movies by herself go out to eat by herself or do things by herself I just thought like nobody wants to be that girl that girl is just whatever she's not what's up she's not what's popping but no Really, in my opinion, because at this moment I am that girl, because I have gone to the movies by myself during my single 16 months, and um, it's not bad. Actually, the last time I went to the movies by myself was I went to go, I went to go see Salmon. That was a couple of weeks ago, and the only thing I could think on the way to the movie theater was, I'm so glad I don't have to worry about nobody talking to me or whispering in my ear while I'm watching this movie. I want to sit, watch the movie, take it all in, and and deal with the movie. Between, it's between me and the movie, not me, the movie, you, whomever, my friend, my homegirl, that one person that has to talk, oh my god, why he do that, girl? What be quiet. You asking me questions and I'm watching. I'm This is my first time watching it with you. Why are you asking me questions? <sighs> like, I could really sit and enjoy the movie without the, uh, inter the interruption. Or the frustration. So, um, it's really not bad. It's not bad going to the movies by yourself. Go, go to the matinee, honey. If you so concerned about being seen by yourself, go to the matinee. And heart, trust me, ain't nobody going to be in there but maybe one or two older people. You know, you may even be in there by yourself. But, hey, I'm all for a matinee movie because it's cheaper. Nobody wants to pay eight, nine, ten dollars for a late night movie. Okay, so instead of waiting on somebody to take you out on a date, waiting for somebody to go with you to the gym, waiting for somebody to go with you to that event that you've been want, you've been dying to go to, go by yourself. Enjoy life yourself. You only get one life on this side. You only get one life. You only get one life. YOLO. You only live once. So, with that being said, you have to take advantage of what life is has to offer you right now so instead of just sitting and waiting sitting on your hands and not doing anything be active do something to be active to make yourself happy do what makes you feel fulfilled like for the longest and i i really need to try to i, I gotta see first of all if my schedule is gonna fit it's gonna allow me to fit this in but i've been really seriously thinking about volunteering at the cancer center in this area and I don't know if it's because I've been watching Chasing Life and I've just been so compelled to just, oh, I want to go help. You know, they need some help. I, I don't know what it is, but I just it's just like been pulling at me to go and volunteer at the cancer center. And I'm not even sure what I could possibly do. I don't even know what my schedule will allow for me to do that. But I'm going to check into it between I'm going to get myself between now and the end of April to figure out excuse me, what I need to do with that. Um, but let's not wait for that guy to come and make you happy. Let's not wait for that job or that house or that car or whatever to make you happy. First of all, you got to enjoy what life has given you right now in this moment. And you have to enjoy and find things that make you happy because if you're waiting on that man to make you happy make you happy what are you going to do when he makes you mad because trust me honey i've never known a man not to make you mad or to not get on your nerves or drive you up the wall <laughs> let's be real about these men we love them to death but jeez they can irk you sometimes with their foolishness and their shenanigans and, and we as women we put up with it 
why sometimes i don't even know but if you're gonna wait for a man to make you happy then you're gonna be waiting honey for a long time because even when you find the one he's gonna do things that's gonna get on your nerves and that's gonna drive you up the wall you got to do things to make you happy. You got to love yourself enough first before you can allow yourself to love someone else. Now, towards the end of the movie, she said that she would not wait anymore. That she was going to live life and do things to make her happy. I vowed to myself during these six, my single season, which is currently 16 months, that I was going to do things that makes me happy i wasn't gonna wait for things to happen to be happy i was gonna do what i need to do to be happy if you know that you're working a job you hate and you know that you want to be a boss and own your own business now is the time for you to write your business plan and get to work okay if you know that you are working a job you're not fulfilled on your job and you know you can find better now is the time to get to start looking if you know what you want in a man, now is the time for you to make your list so you know, keep it posted in front of you like I'm looking at right now. And as a constant reminder to not stray from what it is that I'm looking for. Because I can say, like, I have a weakness for a cute face and a smile. Got 59 seconds. So, just take what I said. Think about it. Feel like leaving comments, leave comments. But until next time.